Welcome back to Tennessee Mornings. We are coming to you from right behind the Fox 17 studios as we are, uh, well, we're talking a little barbecue grilling here. We've got a couple of teams from the Music City Barbecue Festival joining us here. And this is Carrie Bringle from Peg Leg Porker right here. And uh, Carrie, good to see you. Nice to see you, Nick. How you doing this morning? I'm doing great because, uh, well, you've got barbecue out here. That's, That's why right. I'm doing great. Uh, <laughs> you've got right. some big things coming up. We're going to talk about some grilling safety uh, coming up here in just a few moments. But you've got some big things happening. Uh, it is. We've got some good stuff going on. We uh, just uh, we've had our barbecue sauce and dry rub out for a while. Yeah. Uh, we just went into 19 Kroger stores over in East Tennessee, and uh, we're working on a restaurant right now, and then uh, going to be on Chopped on Food Network on July 29th. How about that? That's exciting stuff. All right. So when you're grilling, obviously you know all these grilling safety things. One of the first things you say is always keep a cooler handy. Yeah, we keep a cooler handy. Uh, you want to put your meat in that cooler and you want to keep it on ice. You want to make sure that your food prep is, is a safe food prep. So you want to keep all of, your, all of your meats at the right temperature and refrigerated before it goes on the grill or the smoker. And why should you have bleach wipes with you always handy? Well, you know, we've got a lot of surfaces here. We use stainless steel up here on the smoker, and so we like to have bleach wipes to make sure that we've got clean surfaces. We don't get any cross-contamination. We're not leaving anything behind. You know, it's kind of the ABCs, always be cleaning. When you're cooking and outside and you're working on the grill, you want to make sure that you've, uh, that you've got everything clean and keep it safe. That makes sense. You know, when I barbecue, one of the hardest things for me to cook properly is chicken. Uh, right. What temperature should chicken be safe to eat at? Well, we want to bring it up to about 165 to safely uh, keep it, you know, use a, a thermometer. We keep a little pocket thermometer here that we work with, uh -huh. and uh, that way we can check the temperature on the chicken and make sure that it's 165 all around the chicken. Okay, that makes sense. And also you say don't coat your meat in tomato-based barbecue sauce while cooking because it will burn. Well, you can add it at the last part of the cook. So uh, we've smoked the chicken that we've got on here uh, for about two hours at 250. We got a nice golden uh, crust on it. We did some that have uh, dry seasoning on it, and we did some with sauce, but just about 15 minutes ago. So you'll see it's got a little bit of a glaze on it, but it's not burnt because we put it on at the end of the cooking process, sure. especially if you're going over direct heat. And you got any food to show us here? We sure do. Oh, right back right here. here when... And Carrie also okay. says drink plenty of water while you're grilling because it's right. very hot. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. Look at that good so stuff. We got what you got nice here? chicken here. You can see we've done some dry style. We've done some with the... Uh, with the peg leg pork or original barbecue sauce yeah. and then some that's just hickory smoked we've used a little bit of garlic salt on it to make sure that we get a nice crisp crust on it and so we've got uh, kind of three varieties here we can always add sauce to this we can toss it in sauce mm -hmm. but we've cooked it at about 250 for about two hours to make sure that we uh that we get it nice and crisp and we get it done to 165. Well, Kerry Bringle, thank you so much for joining us, and good thank luck at the you. festival back in August. It's going to be uh, next month, so good luck with that, and good luck okay. with all your adventures happening Thanks as well. Lot, we all right, Kerry, I'm going to dig it. Uh, Kelly, I'm going to dig into uh, some of this back here, and I'm going to toss it back to you.